Okay, boys and girls, we're continuing to learn about force and motion. Our essential question, what are ways that things move? We've been learning lots of ways that things move. Our standard says to obtain, evaluate, and communicate information to explain the effect of a force. Remember, a force is a push or a pull. In the movement of an object, changes in speed and direction. All right, let's listen to our motion song again today, How Things Move. Motion is a change in positions, like forward, backward, up, down, and through. Things can zigzag or go straight, even circular is great. When you know the way, you'll know just what to do. Things in motion always move in a direction. Traveling north, east, south, and west, they can go left or go right till they've traveled out of sight, and a map will put this knowledge to the test. Motion can be measured by its distance. Just as motion can be measured by its time, things can go far or go quick, and as miles and minutes tick, you will understand it, because you'll know this rhyme. Let's sing together. Motion is a change in Motion is a change in position. Like forward, backward, up, down, and through. Up, down, and through. Things can zig and or go straight, even circular is great. When you know the way you'll know just what to do. What to do? Things in motion always move in a direction. Things in motion always move in a Out direction. Out north, east, south, and west. South and west. They can go left or go right till they travel out of sight. And a map will put this knowledge to the test. To the test. Motion can be measured by its distance. Motion time. can be measured by its distance. Motion can be measured by its time. By its time. Things can go far or go quick. And the miles and minutes stick. You will understand it can Okay. Now let's continue with our lesson on motion. The way things move. All things can move. All right, the bike is moving. The cart is moving. How are they moving? Yes, someone is applying force to them. The grass moves back and forth when the wind blows. Can you think of anything else that moves this way? What about a flag outside? Does it move back and forth? What about the rocking chair on the porch? Yeah, think of some other things that can move back and forth. A bouncing ball moves up and down. Can you think of anything else that moves this way? All right, think about something that you guys probably do. You may even have one of these in your backyard that you bounce on. What about a trampoline? Does it go when you bounce on it up and down? Yes, a seesaw. Yes, they all go up and down, right? Think of something else. The snake slithers in a zigzag. Can you think of anything else that can move this way? Yesterday in your pictures of motion, 
I gave you a bumblebee. I said the bumblebee can move in a what? Yeah, a bumblebee can move in a zigzag pattern, right? What about lightning? It may move in a zigzag pattern. That's right. The fan blades go round and round. Can you think of anything else that moves this way? What about the tires on the car or the wheels on the bike? Yes, what if you play with a hula hoop? It will go round and round as well. Think of some more things. The car goes straight on the carpet. So it will go in a straight pattern. Can you think of anything else that will go straight? I think about a jet. How does a jet fly? Jets fly straight up, right? Can you think of anything else that goes in a straight pattern? How does the seesaw move? Yes, we talked about it. Up and down. You push with your feet. And it moves up and down. How does the pendulum move? What's going to happen when this ball hits the rest of the balls? Yes, it's going to knock them this way. And what's going to happen when it comes back? Yes, it's going to go side to side. Do you know anything that goes side to side? How does the swing move? Right on a swing, we go back and forth, back and forth. Can you think of anything else that moves that way? How does the track how does the, excuse me, how does the car, how do cars on a racetrack move? Spires will get it out in a minute. How do these cars move? Round and round. Do you know anything else that moves round and round? We used the example the other day. Think about when you spin a ball. Right? That goes round and round, or a hula hoop. That is round and round. How can we make things move? What do we have to do to make things move, boys and girls? We can push things. That is called what? Force. A push to move things away from your body is a force, like pushing the cart or pushing the car, uh, the little car. We can pull things. Like pulling the sled or pulling the wagon. That means to pull it near your body. 
That is a type of force. We can wave things. That can cause motion. We can spin things. How can you make things move? How can you move your hands? Can you move them up and down? Back and forth? In a zigzag? Try it and see. Can you do it, guys? You are causing motion. All right. Now we are going to read a new decodable today. It is called Force and Motion at the Olympics. Now this is showing Winter Olympics. Some of you are like, what is that? This is a man laying on a board. We're going to show you what it looks like in a real photograph. Are you ready? All right, this is an example. I believe this is a lady though. All right, these are bobsledding type events. All right, these use a lot of force and motion. You use your body to help push these boards and they use their bodies to control the direction of the board and it is very, the ice is slippery so they're able to go fast on these, very quick, it's really cool. All right, but this is all one person and I think there are four in these, okay? So I just wanted you to get an idea of kind of what these look like. But all of these are Winter Olympics in our book, Force and Motion. So let's read. Let's learn some more facts. This player uses his hockey stick to push the hockey puck. All right, push, that means to do what? Move it away from his body. So what sport? Hockey. The sled riders are in the Olympics because they go so fast. The ice under them helps them move easily and quickly. All right, we see there are four of them. I told you they go very fast, right? Oh, lots of adverbs in there. How do they go? Fast. How do they move? Easily and quickly. Look at there. This skier moves in a zigzag motion. So how does the skier move? In a zigzag. All right, they can zigzag down the mountain as they ski. This ice skater can move in different ways. She can even go round and round. All right, so she can go in 
lots of different ways. It says move in lots of different ways. But she can especially go round and round. That's one way a lot of people don't go. This snowboarder has motion anytime he changes his position. Remember, motion is a change in position. All right. Snowboarders. Pretty cool sport. Here's the bobsledder again. This bobsledder does not want to go slow. He wants to win the race. All right, so how does he want his motion to be? Fast. Now you can see how force and motion is everywhere at the Olympics. Okay. All right, I'll leave that on there. So if you want to practice reading one more time. All right, we will pick up tomorrow and do some more with force and motion.